Well, values, how do you rate them? How do you rate your own life? How do you rate other, others, like his children? Whether Christian brothers and sisters, or the world, they're all his children. How do you rate truth? Is a little white lie okay? Or is the truth need to be the truth? How do you rate love? And all of those fall into ethics and morals. Ethics is a system of moral principles. It is the rules or standards governing the conduct of a person or the members of a profession. Ethics is the branch of philosophy concerned with the nature of ultimate value and the standards by which human action can be judged right or wrong, or simply ethics is the philosophical study of moral values and rules. People have watered down ethics. Most companies talk about ethics. That's their, uh, what do they call it, mission statements. But yet they don't live it. More than not, you'll see people take pens and paper and all this stuff from work and this, that, and the other thing. More than not, they don't mind coming in a little late and leaving a little early. And that's just the everyday person I'm talking about here. You get into bigger ethical issues with uh, higher professions. Morals, because they talked about ethics, talked about morals. Morals founded on fundamental principles of right conduct rather than legalities, rather than enactment, or custom moral obligations. So just because the law has legalized abortion doesn't make it right. So legalities and fundamental principles, it's saying here that it doesn't matter if society said something's okay. Having morals are based on what the Word of God says, and we've lost that. Big time. So to get on my soapbox, here are some people that unfortunately I believe that it works from the top down. And the country has deteriorated because those at the top have said it's okay and the rest have followed. Here's some example of some people that I believe have been part and instrumental of this country losing its fundamental morals and principles. Bill Clinton! He's in there. <laughs> President Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, President Nixon. President Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Secretary of Treasury Gettner, Senator Craig, Senator Edwards, Governor Reuters, Senator Dodd, Kobe Bryant, Stephen Graff, Gilbert Arenas, Michael Vick, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, Jim Baker, Jimmy Swaggart, Ted Haggard, and Tiger Woods. And I put Tiger Woods last because he's probably most on everyone's mind. And uh, just late, recently. So each one of these people have sworn either governmental on the Bible in office to do what's right. Or when they said they want to be a professional athlete, that they're going to do right, live right. Some of these people were tax evasion. Some of these people cheated, you know, taping incorrectly like uh, President, President Nixon did. Some of these people obviously was more uh, sexual. Some of them was uh, steroids and things of that nature. You know, and there's movie stars. I mean, that was just a given. I didn't even touch any of the movie stars because, you know, a lot of them it's a given there. It's for different reasons, but they've all sworn that, you know what, I want your money to you come see me play sports or see a movie or whatever, or I want your vote. So therefore, I'm saying I'm going to be a right-standing person. I'm going to be a role model. And then they turned around and did whatever they thought was right, all for the dollar. And so, hey, if I can act this way, it's going to give me the big dollar, regardless if I'm this way. You know, one example I use, like with Tiger Woods, I don't have an issue, I mean, I do have an issue with the way he lived his personal life, but that's really for his wife, his kids, and his immediate family. That has nothing to do with us. Obviously, between him and God. You know, it was a sin. He's admitted to sin, and it's wrong. No doubt about that. He's asked for forgiveness of them, and he asked for forgiveness of God. We should forgive him. I mean, he doesn't really have to apologize. My issue with Tiger Woods was that he portrayed a specific image. He said, I am going to be this way in front of all of you so that you guys will, you know, uh, watch or buy brands that I advertise or, um, uh, you know, wear the Tiger Woods logo on the shirts and buy those specific things or because he... He does Callaway and he's a good golfer and all that stuff. He's represented himself in a certain way that he's not really. And so he's gathered our trust and has fallen short in our trust. 
He's taken family values and he's thrown them off the door, off of the dollar. And that's wrong. So this country today, you know, they're even talking about not supporting Israel. You know, uh, obviously taking things out of, out of state buildings and even now taking the word God out of the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. We've watered it down and it starts from the top down. But one random, cap, uh, one random act of kindness can start to change things. And we all here, probably more of you younger ones than us older ones, have opportunities. You may have a, uh, an opportunity to be in an influential position. And so if you stand up today and start taking those initial um, ingredients and trying out those recipes in your school, and living right in school and start representing what you truly believe in and who you truly are and not be one way at home and another way at school. When you get into those positions and you have those opportunities and God continues to bless you in those positions, then you'll start to have influences on people underneath you, people that are younger than you, people that want to be like you. And that will start changing the country. So if you don't take anything else home today, just remember that stewardship, ethics, and morals, family values have been degraded. And each one of us, starting today, can have an impact today on just one person. And you've seen the commercial, you know, told two friends, and so on, and so on, and so on. We can all do that. If we just live our life according to God's word, follow him, and just test him. Just read the word, pick out a scripture verse, study it out, find out what it means, and start walking that one out. And you will have an impact. One random act of kindness at a time. <laughs>